Hey guys, it's Luke and welcome to the Grand Canyon. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this vlog because really nothing can actually show off exactly how big this hole in the ground is. <laughs> I know calling it a hole in the ground is a very minimalist approach to what it is, but uh, it is a gigantic canyon. And I'm here at the Matha Point Amphitheater. Not exactly sure if they like do performances or anything here or whether it's just a nice spot for people to come up here and watch stuff or just, you know, get a good view of the canyon from up here. I mean, seriously, this place is huge. Let's put a Simon in there for scale. <laughs> I wish that, you know, all Australian National Park trails were this well kept. But then again, not all National Park trails in Australia have this view. I know we have some canyons in the Northern Territory and probably up in the Blue Mountains, but uh, I don't think anything this grand, um, pardon the pun. Uh, we stayed last night at Tusian, um, which is just outside of the Grand Canyon National Park. So we'll be staying there for two nights. It was quite a beautiful place. And I'm both a little sad, but also glad that it's not snowing today. I mean, you still have the gorgeous snow sitting on the rocks there. But with it not snowing, the air is clear and you get a beautiful view around the rim. And one of the most incredible thoughts is even when I look down here, I'm still not seeing the very bottom of the Grand Canyon. It still works its way further and further down until it greets the Colorado River, which is somewhere further down that way. Well, that guy there has definitely got one of the best views in the park. Chilling on the rim. Look at him go. Enjoying his lunch. He's not, he's not worried at all. <laughs> Want to say hi? Yeah? <laughs> gotcha. But it says don't feed him. Can I touch him while you think? Can no, I grab him? Are they, they mean? Well, he could bite you. you know, he could bite you. But I feel mine. He's so cute. He's really cute. <laughs> Snow and someone's doggy bag. Stephen Mather. This is why it's called Mather's Point. And wow, here we are. All right, let's uh, head down the stairs. A few of the trails here though are closed. I mean, we're over there before. And down. And here we go. And down there we have the Colorado River. We zoom out, you can actually see how incredibly far away it is from us and how high up we really are. That's uh, pretty bonkers high. And we're actually on the low rim of the Grand Canyon here at Mathers Point. And now we're heading off to the shuttle to a different part of the Grand Canyon National Park.
So I'm not really here to make a nature documentary, so I really don't know how many different angles I could possibly show you uh, to uh, illustrate how incredibly huge this grand hole in the ground really is. Um, Simon is currently working on a little bit of a video project, so uh, probably wait for that. He's got some really good shots there which uh, show exactly how grand the landscapes that we've uh, visited so far on our trip have been from anywhere from the snow to the arches uh, to the cathedral rocks. I mean, he went all the way up to the top of Cathedral Rock and got some amazing, amazing um, footage from up the top there. So we would see um, what that ends up looking like. So here's our shuttle. Off we go. Simon's a back of the bus kind of guy. <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, oops. But, to be fair, we didn't disturb him. He just decided he'd had enough of his lunch and then moved along. Here we are at Bright Angel. And that there is the lookout studio where we're headed to. Should have amazing views heading up the other end. Watch your step, watch your step, watch your step. Up, up, up the stairs. And here we are. Holy moly. This is a nice view. And here from atop of Bright Angel Studio, I mean, I can't express to you how huge this is. I do know that somewhere down in the canyon right now is a helicopter. <laughs> Where it is, I can't see it because that is how huge this canyon is. So the trail down there is closed for most of the way, so we can't go all the way down. So we're going to see how far down that trail we can go. But definitely hope to come back here again and venture further into the canyon. Maybe when I'm a little bit fitter. Um, and that's my goal uh, this year in 2024. Back in September, before the car accident, I did make it down to 102. So I almost actually made it back into the uh, the double digits. I was so close. Um, but yeah, this year will be the year that Luke Granger makes it back into the double digits. It'll be amazing to be able to just travel down there and then actually come all the way back up without wanting to die. So bucket list 2025. That's my goal. Come back here during maybe the warmer summer months when the trails are open, I guess. There we go. What a sight to behold. Incredible. I just saw the video jitter. I'm not going to re-record it again. I just saw the video jitter. I'm like, oh my goodness, is my camera going to freeze again? No, that was just filmed in 24 frames per second. It's, uh, Simon borrowed my camera for a shot. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I don't know which way we're going. Um, he has a habit of just walking off when I'm distracted. Mind you, it is my fault. I am being distracted. Um, I think we're down here. It just makes sense to go down. If we're going down a trail, it makes sense to go downhill. So hopefully this is the right way. Whip. <laughs> well, as much as I've been praising the condition of these, uh, these trails, uh, this is where it ends. Um, not too sure if I should be doing this in cons, but we'll see how we go. It did say icy crampons recommended. I mean, this is pretty pretty soft ice 
So if I take it slow, it should be good. I mean, it's only a fall to my certain death, so nothing too serious. Yeah, see? Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. All right, so that was pretty much what I believe the worst of the ice. So there we go. That wasn't too bad at all. A little bit more ice here, and then I think it's melted again. But goodness me, look at these views. I'm taking it slow, one foot on the dirt, one foot on the ice, actually. Now, yeah, both feet on the dirt, I mean, it's only the edge. <laughs> I'm not scared of heights at all. No, that's only a silly person who's afraid of heights. And just for mules pass, I just need to stand to the inside of the trail. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Let's head to the nice little arch tunnel over there. That's kind of cool. Let me know, do I zoom too much in my vlogs? Or is the zooming, like, okay? <laughs> I think it's okay. But, um, you let me know. Because I'll admit, I am a bit of a zoom fiend. I enjoy a good zoom every now and then. And I often... Sorry, I thought that was another screw hole. I often do, um, overuse it. I mean, there's just so much to see. I mean, I could zoom in and then start filming, but, you know, got to give you some perspective of how far away things are, I guess. Like right now, um, just before I get to the tunnel, there's going to be an amazing view of this canyon, or this chasm, the chasm within the canyon, um, which just looks absolutely spectacular. It's gone back to being icy again, <laughs> but thankfully it's kicked up a bit of the dirt underneath. As you can see, so it's brown ice, not white ice, so we should be fine. And that view that I was telling you about, here it comes. Look at that. That is, I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, wow. Let's just stop here for a second. Appreciate that. I'm going to turn my camera off in a minute and appreciate it myself because that is just so spectacular. So this is actually probably a really good example of how big this place is. So they don't recommend hiking to the Colorado River and back in one day, mainly because it's a strenuous hike, but also because of an extreme elevation change of 1.5 kilometers. I mean, even still, like this camera still doesn't show that massive height. I mean, sure, if there were people down there, um, you'd probably think that there's still like ants or something, but that is like crazy high up. 1.5 kilometers in the Colorado River, somewhere beyond that little through there. And then you get to the Colorado River. But so far, you know, it's been a good trick. And as I told Simon before, if I didn't vlog it, no one would probably believe that uh, I'd willingly hiked. I mean, how many hikes have we been on now? This is like our third? Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. You just turn another corner and every time you do here, you're just met with an incredible scene. I said it before, and I'll say it again, like, I am incredibly in love with this landscape, this country. It is just so incredible. Simon said he'd build a snowman for his friend. He built a snowman for his friend. Now it's time to say goodbye, Mr. Snowman. Oh! And now the careful hike back where we're gonna have some lunch. Snowman right there would have been even better. Snowman right there would have been awesome, actually. I guess I've got to do it. You're going to do another one? I guess I've got to build one. It's going to build a snowman.
Take it away. You won't have to take it away. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna film you build a snowman. This is quality content right here. Oh, I wish it wasn't quality content. <laughs> That's all right. We'll cut to the finished project. And there we go. Simon's snowman. Man, this uh, landscape is awesome. I don't know how many times I can say it in this vlog. So that'll be the last time I'll say it. Because now we begin the trek back up. We're both complete noobs at ice hiking. Simon and his runners. I'm, I'm so good at it, I don't need to. <laughs> Me and my cons. All right. I'm gonna get a shot of a snowman while I make my way back up. Oh, and there's no one else on this trek. Quite a magical place to be. Um, the peace, the quiet. <laughs> How's the serenity? Not a sound. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to lunch we go. <laughs> this here is the Bright Angel Trail. So we basically only got to like there. Um, and then it goes back downhill. Basically total distance of 7.2 kilometers, 304 flights of stairs. So that's yeah, 1.16 kilometer elevation difference there. So that's pretty crazy and at the moment, Right here at the sign, 2.08 kilometers. So this is the lowest side of the Grand Canyon as well. It does get much higher over on the north end. I think I've said that already before. I never remember what I say on these vlogs half the time, so please forgive me. And up we go. And so our lunch today will be at the Harvey House Cafe. I mean, not bad prices for a national park restaurant. Um, I think that I'll either be getting the pot roast or the spaghetti western. So yeah, let's uh, see what it's like here inside the Bright Angel Lodge. Here we are in the Harvey House Cafe. Switch to the iPhone because it's less obnoxious. And here's the menu again. These are the wines and the soups and salads and appetizers. As I said, I think I'll be going for either of these three. I haven't quite decided yet. So it'll be a mystery when I decide to order which one I say. A few moments later. I forgot to show, show it before I started eating it, but um, I chose the pot roast, which was actually quite good. It had a lot of celery. Well, not a lot of celery. It had a lot of carrot and a few sticks of celery on the top, which were nice. And that's really nice meat there. And then on the bottom, there's some mashed potato hiding in there with some onion throughout as well. And Simon there got himself a nice burrito with some rice. How is that? It's pretty good. Pretty good. And this is pretty good too. So pretty happy with our lunch. I did pack my um, winter jacket just in case, but I actually haven't needed it at all today. I'm here in shorts and like denim shorts and my Spider-Man hoodie, um, which is a short sleeve and uh, it's been great. Um, haven't even broke it well, I broke a little bit of a sweat, but not too much to worry about. 
And so now with the sun setting, one last look at the Grand Canyon for this vlog. This place is quite a majestic place. And again, as much as I try, this camera just won't reveal the complete size of this place. Even those trees down there, you know, you can't really scale them to anything like further below. That cliff face there, that is a mighty huge cliff face. Just following it all the way up along. Seems to be a nice walking trail down there as well. It's walking trails all through this canyon land, but being the winter season, a lot of them are currently closed. Beautiful.